my friend, what is going on? Vitaly Dobin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Walls Club. And today in this video, I want to share with you what does it take for you to create absolutely financial freedom that you deserve in your life? What are the secrets to investing? What does it take to become wealthy? I want to share with you absolutely undeniable fundamentals that you can utilize for the rest of your life. What does it mean to be financially free? It means that you don't have to work another day of your life. Your housing, your traveling, your food, your taxes, all of that is being taken care of and you can focus on what you love to do. Now, I've been so blessed and so privileged to learn from Tony Robbins, one of the best trainers and coaches that I met in my lifetime. I've been to his Wealth Mastery, and I've been to five days of his Financial Mastery Summit when we just focused for five days on how to create financial freedom. What does it take? What are the secrets that billionaires are using to create wealth? And I want to share with you what I learned and the, the most important fundamentals that you can utilize right now, right away to set you on a path to a achieve financial freedom in your lifetime because it is so awesome when you go through this life and you make wise financial decisions and choices that lead you to that freedom and that's the most amazing feeling now I can tell you guys that you know before I share with you the most important those fundamentals you need to understand that wealth is in your mind. Wealth is psychology. You don't have to wait for months and years in order for you to be wealthy. You can be wealthy right now, right away, by changing your psychology about wealth, by changing your mindset and start with that gratitude inside when you appreciate everything that you have in your life. You appreciate where you live, you appreciate the environment, you appreciate the streets you're walking on, you appreciate the books that you have, you appreciate the wealth that you already have right now in your life. Wealth is a state of mind. There's so many things to be grateful for, to appreciate for, and that's where you start. Because, you know, if you think about wealth, about money, about abundance, it is always here. You know, it's like the air that we breathe. Don't you need to think about the air that you breathe? No, it's abundant. It's all the time available to you. So is money, abundance, and opportunities are always there for you. But also poverty and scarcity and lack is always there for you. So you need to start with gratitude and change your perspective around that. Now, no matter where you start, you can absolutely transform your life by practicing those fundamentals. I mean, take a look at where Tony Robbins has started. You know, to give you an idea, this guy generates six billion dollars a year, you know, and, and his seminars, 60 or 70 million dollars a year, or something like that, small portion of what he's been able to generate and amass in his lifetime. Where did he start? He had this little tiny apartment, you know, he had no money for even food to take care of himself. He had to steal in groceries, you know, he, he got at a grocery store and he ate something and, and got with it without paying. That's because he didn't have any money, you know, that violated his internal standards, of course, but he had no choice at the time. He like, he was selling for living the life uh, way, way under what his true potential is. Now, doesn't matter where you start. You know, I remember I had a, a job where I generated a thousand dollars a month and I had a little tiny office of two meters by two meters and I had a huge debt. And you know what? It doesn't really matter where you start. When you start practicing the right mindset and fundamentals, I'm going to go over it right now with you, you can absolutely transform that area of your life and you can absolutely become financially free in your lifetime. Now, what are those fundamentals? Now, we'll start with the first one, which is compound interest. If you're going to understand this principle of compound interest, your life is going to change. Now, what is compound interest? Albert Einstein described it as the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, you know, it's absolutely <laughs> magical. Because think about it, with compound interest, when you take money and you compound it and you compound it and you compound it over time, you can amass true fortunes. Now, to give an idea, what if you save five bucks a day? Just five dollars a day, could you do it? 
to save five dollars a day absolutely what is it hundred fifty dollars a month so you have a hundred fifty dollars a month and you save it aside and with just 15 percent annual return okay it's very doable 15 percent annual return you know what you're going to have in 30 years one million fifty one thousand dollars that's right just by saving five dollars a day okay five dollars a day which is 15 years 15 percent a year return compounded over 30 years that's one million fifty thousand now if you do it 40 years it's going to be 4.7 million dollars right you can save more than uh five dollars a day let's say you save 250 dollars a month you compound that in 40 years that's 7.8 million dollars now here's another example let's say that you want to save for your daughter or your son uh, college education and you know you start saving a hundred bucks a month just a hundred bucks a month and compound it with 15 percent a year by the time they reach 19 years old they you already have an account hundred and ten thousand dollars saved for their college education you leave it and don't touch it don't anything anything more by the time they're 50 <laughs> they're going to have 9.6 million dollars you see the power of this you know that's compounding if you take 10 cents and you multiply and you double it you know it's just 20 cents 40 cents 80 cents dollar 60 three dollars you know 20 cents six i mean it it's so slow the growth but by the time you compound it by 18th time that 10 cents turns into thirteen thousand one hundred and seven dollars that's the power of compounding now to start tapping into that power you need to remember the most fundamental principle in wealth creation and that is you gotta spend less money than you earn that's right spend less money than you earn and then invest the difference and then rein reinvest it and compound it reinvest it and compound it until you hit a critical mass and that's the next topic what should you do with this money where do I put it okay that's that's the next key but first you gotta start with this spend less than you earn and I know it's hard and it was difficult you know I've been so guilty of this <laughs> of, of spending more money than I earn so many times and making the same freaking mistakes again and again but life hits you on the head and life shows you you know what you cannot sustain this you cannot do it you know if you make a million dollars you can find a way to spend a million dollars and a hundred thousand dollars beyond that if you make five million dollars you can spend seven million I mean there is no limit to it, it does the, the numbers is not what matters is is the habit of of you actually measuring understanding what's coming in and how much you save so this is the the first principle guys it's important is that put yourself first set aside money first take 10 percent of what you earn and put it aside don't even touch it don't even see it you know make it a habit make it a way to at least 10 percent of what you earn set it aside and live on 90 percent then figure out what you're going to do with that saved 10 percent that will start to grow where do you put that money that's the million dollar question right where should you put that money that you start saving by spending less than you earn now to understand that you gotta become an investor very critical you gotta become an investor which most people don't do in their lifetimes okay and adopt the right psychology of investors now no matter how good you are no matter how great you are at investing you're going to screw up you're going to make mistake you know every successful investor out there no matter how smart he is he's going to make mistakes he's going to fail he's you know he's not going to be right and that's why this next principle of investing is so crucially important which is asset allocation 
asset allocation. Remember those two words. It's going to change your life because it's so crucial, so key to your, to your ability to reach financial freedom. What it means asset allocation is that you take that money that you saved and you start to allocate it in different buckets, okay? Tony Robbins called it, calls it a growth bucket and a security bucket. Now, what is a security bucket? A security bucket is any type of investment that is less risky, there's almost zero risk in there, but also less return. That's how it works in investing. The more risk you have, the more potential return is, but also there, there is more chances that is, the investment is going to fail. So with security bucket, you focus on those things that give you, you know, let's say fixed uh, investments. For example, you know, 7% a year, you loan somebody money like a corporate bond, you know, or municipal bond, you know, money market account, you know, something that you put and set money aside will produce you, you know, 7% a year, 8% a year, something like that. But it's, it's secure, okay? And you know you have access to that money when you need it. It's not going to crash, not going to depend it on the markets, you know, that are busty and going up and down okay so that's security bucket very important then there's the growth bucket that's where the big profits can be generated that's where you can really compound it that's where you know you can generate that five percent a month ten percent a month or even maybe thirty percent a month you know that's where very risky strategies but also much more profitable rewarding okay can be real estate that you invest in a real estate can go up and down, can be art, the collectibles, or my favorite, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Bitcoin is volatile. Bitcoin can be up, can be down, can be all of a sudden up 40%, all of a sudden down 30%. You know, Bitcoin is like this, very volatile. Cryptocurrencies are even more volatile than that. You know, different projects associated with cryptocurrencies, different projects associated, you know, with different coins, with different opportunities, or your trading strategies that you do on exchanges, you know, or if you're using a software or a bot that is trading for you, anything like that, you know, all of those are in the growth bucket. They're risky, but also more profitable. Now, here is the key. How do you allocate those assets that you saved? Do you put 30% into the growth bucket and 70% into security? Or do you put 50-50? That's the decision you gotta make. If you're old, you know, if you're older, then probably you should go and be less risky. You know, put 70% into security, 30% into the growth bucket. If you're younger, you have more time, you know, maybe do 50-50. If you're very aggressive, put 30% into security, 70% into growth. But don't put everything into uh, the gross bucket into something risky and you know don't put everything into one thing ever never ever ever no matter how good it is no matter how great the investment is no matter how much there is the promising to you there's the best thing since earth you know that it's never going to fail it's absolutely solid project don't ever put all of your money into anything to one thing you don't put more than 10 percent into you know you gotta diversify within those buckets within the security bucket and the growth bucket you gotta diversify and create multiple different investment strategies uh, with that money it's very very important okay otherwise it's going to come back and bite you <laughs> okay if something is going to crash real estate market is going to crash stocks are going to crash you know cryptocurrencies are going to crash then you'll be left with nothing you can go bankrupt so you gotta have security and you gotta diversify diversify and diversify at least 15 if you're you know set yourself the target to build up to that these 15 different uh, coins projects investments that you allocate your assets to okay that's how you balance your portfolio very very important so what we talked about so far the power of compounding which is critical which is absolutely necessary for you to reach financial freedom is to understand the principle of compound interest and then asset allocation and diversification the growth bucket and the security bucket now once you generate profits what do you do 
whether it's security or growth, you generate profits. What do you do? You take the profits off the table, okay? <laughs> A lot of people forget that. Take the profits off the table and then what you should do with that profit? Put it back, third of it into security, third of it, put it back into the growth bucket, you know, reinvest it, and third of it, you know, put it an, on, a, on a dream list, you know, dream bucket, you know, save it for some long-term thing. Maybe you want to buy a boat, or you want to buy a car, or you want to buy a nice outfit, or a, a, a diamond ring, or an island, whatever. But remember that those things, that I just said, the boat, you know, the, 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 the boat, the, the, the outfit, the, the ring, you know, all these things, is draining your money. It's not giving you money, it's not generating you wealth, it's, it's draining, it's, it's a hole. You know, if you buy a boat, it's draining your money. It's once more and more and more money for maintenance, you know, for, for something like that. So always remember that, it's, it's a luxury, and you need to be wise with it you know don't take your money don't take your profit and just put it in buy a boat or buy a car it's it's, it's going to you know ruin your and, and hinder your growth into becoming financially free and this is your goal never ever ever forget that this is your goal goal to be financially free when you have enough money that you accumulated in the critical mass that you can put in the safe environment safe enough environment generating 10 percent a year maybe 15 percent a year okay in that safe environment that can provide you income for life that can cover your housing your food your expenses you know your basic entertainment goals you know your your basic stuff that you need okay that is financial freedom and you'll feel amazing when you reach that, okay? When you have money, passive income coming in from, and that's passive income, I'm talking about the profits from a safe environment, from the critical mass of money, and it'll be amazing, you know, basically $40,000, $50,000 a year, if you can generate that $50,000 a year without working, just having your money work for you in a safe environment, will be already financially secure and it's awesome that's the first step that's the first goal okay so <clears throat> it is so so important that you realize and don't underestimate if you let's talk about this this guy this UPS guy who I don't remember his name I think Ted Johnson his name but he never earned more than thirty thousand dollars a year he was a UPS truck driver okay thirty thousand dollars a year and he found a way to save enough, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month, you know, but consistently and compound that, okay, year after year, he was able to amass a fortune of $70 million when he died. $70 million and 36 million of it he gave away while he was um, living, while he was alive. <coughs> That's amazing wealth that he was able to amass being a UPS truck driver $30,000 a year. So don't underestimate, you know, how much you are making, how much you're earning in the, those principles of compound interest and asset allocation. You gotta set yourself a target. So here's what you gotta do. Decide that you're going to have at least 10%, put, pay yourself first, no matter how much you're earning, and put it aside. Later, you'll decide where to invest, how to invest it, but start with that. Spend less than you earn, take 10% and put it aside, always, and don't touch it. Then, with that money, you gotta invest and reinvest it, okay? Tap into compound interest, go into security bucket, go into um, the, the gross bucket, and decide the percentages you're going to put and diversify into each of those, and then monitor your investment so that, you know, you take the profits off the table and you reinvest it and you put it back in security, back into the growth bucket, and then start to increase that, that, that critical mass of, of money, okay? So those are the secrets to investing, okay? Those are the secrets, the most important ones, uh, the fundamental, okay, of wealth creation and creating financial freedom. And always come back to the fundamentals. They always work, they're undeniable, now, I want, to, I want to tell you this, okay? Obviously, 
financial freedom and wealth is, is one part of your life. Okay, if you don't have the health, if you don't have the relationship, if you are only focused on that and you neglect the other parts of your life, money is worthless. You gotta build the friendships, you gotta you know, focus on your health, don't sacrifice other areas of your life in your pursuit of financial freedom. Set yourself goals that will inspire you, that will make you a better person, and the, the way that you do it is you find ways to, to add more value uh, and that's how you create more success and more wealth and more income so is what value you can add find ways that you can add value to people okay increase your income decrease your spending increase your saving increase the amount of money that you invest and make smart financial decisions that is what What's the difference between somebody who is not winning the game, the game of money and somebody who enjoys financial freedom? Never put the, 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 the eyeball of the target of what you want to create in regards to your financial freedom. You deserve to have financial freedom, my friend. You deserve to live life to the fullest. You deserve the abundance. It's everywhere. Just need to focus on several fundamental principles and you know be very 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 aware of what you're doing financially and you know <coughs> focus on those important things and you're going to do uh, very very well for yourself so hopefully you got a lot of value out of this video and, and you're going to apply this information right now. It's so important, so crucial. The time to start is right now, you know? People who are in their 40s, they say, I wish I started in the 30s. People in their 50s said, I wish I started in the 40s. People in the 60s said, I wish I started in the 50s. People in the 70s, you know, you get the point. The, you gotta start now, and the faster you start right now, the more time you have, and this is your life. Okay, so people who utilize the principles of life, principles of financial freedom investing, they're going to succeed because the principles, they don't change. Okay, those are important principles. So study that, study financial freedom, study wealth, and apply those principles. It's been Vitaly Dubinin, founder of Bitcoin Wealth Club. We have a lot of knowledge, information, trainings inside Bitcoin's Wealth Club to really help you guys get the right strategy, the right mindset when it comes to trading, when it comes to investing, when it comes to you know generating multiple streams of income. Feel free to check it out at bitcoinswealthclub.com and looking forward to serving you more and creating more videos to help you and educate you uh, on your path to financial freedom. It's been Vitaly Dubinian, see you soon.